So Martin, uh, confirmed today that uh, you've taken your 40% stake of uh, the club to uh, 100%, uh, now the sole owner, how pleased are you to have done that? I'm delighted. I uh, came, became involved eight years ago with a, originally a 20% stake, then I bought a, another 20% stake. And then uh, the plan was to actually acquire more of the club, uh, but unfortunately Tom Wilkinshaw died around about that time, so uh, nothing really happened for, for a little while. But I uh, finally got to, to the position where I was able to buy the Wilkinshaw 60% out. So yeah, absolutely delighted to be the owner of the club and uh, take over as chairman and uh, very much look forward to the challenges ahead. Yeah, and you're quite well known as a kind of supporter of the club as well. How, how much does Gloucester mean to you personally? Oh, a terrific amount. I mean, I, I love this club. I uh, think it's a, it's a fantastic rugby club. Uh, we've got really fantastic support, uh, but there's a lot of good things here. We've got a good, good playing department, very good coaching squad. We've got a st strong team of finance and admin people behind the club. So I think there's a, there's a, there's a lot going, going well here. Yeah, and the question all the supporters will be wondering is, uh, can Gloucester now compete with the likes of Bath and uh, Saracens Bristol if they come up? That's, that's, that's the key question. I mean, we'll, 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 the, the fans should know I'm, I'm going to work every hour as God sends to try and make that happen. Yeah, and you, you will be spending up to the salary cap each year? Yeah, the salary cap's quite hard to define right now because yeah. it's not just a fixed amount of money, which it used to be. It's now got added in amounts for academy credits and injury credits and marquee players. So it's quite hard to define what the salary cap exactly is. But we'll be, we'll be spending uh, pretty much up to the cap in order to provide David and the coaching staff with the, uh, every possible opportunity to achieve uh, what, we've, what we're capable of on the pitch. Yeah, where would you like to see uh, Gloucester in, say, five years' time? Well, five years, five years is quite a long time. I mean, my first goal is to fill this stadium every week. So if we can do that, we can only do that if you're playing a good brand of rugby and you're winning. And if we're capable of filling the stadium every week, that gives you the financial wherewithal to redevelop the stadium, build new stands, expand the playing department, bring in the really very best players. So my first goal is to is to is to fill the stadium. Where that would lead in five years' time um, is is you know we want that to be to manifest itself in, in terms of the success on the pitch. Gloucester's yeah. achieved a hell of a lot behind the scenes. We've got a very good stadium, very good training facilities, but we've underperformed on the pitch. We've been ninth in the league three t three years out of the last four. We're currently not in the European Champions Cup, and we should be much higher than ninth in the league, and we should absolutely be in the European. Champions Cup, so I'm not going to stand here and say we're going to win the European Cup and we're going to win the Aviva, but we want to be absolutely competitive in both of those key competitions.